Oceans 234 is a full-service oceanfront restaurant that excels in delivering a memorable dining experience. Now, here's your host for the Entrepreneurial Vibration Show, Sandy Viteri. Thank you very much, and here we are today at Oceans 234 with Danielle Rossi. Thank you, Danielle, Thank for you. having us. So the reason we have Danielle here today is because we wanted to talk to, as you know, entrepreneurs that can inspire other entrepreneurs. When I was 19 years old, um, I came here to get a waitressing job and I thought I was going to go to school. Fast forward now 20 years later, I haven't left, nor have I gone to school. <laughs> so um, I, I, like I said, I started as a waitress. This was a diner. Um, next door was a gas station, if you don't know the area. And it really um, has been, like I said, exponential growth once I saw things through that lens and not just the, what do I have to do today? What do we do to keep the doors open? How do we, you know, um, what's on the task list? Um, and just seeing that bigger picture. So your doors are always open. Yeah, in, in, <laughs> 24 so seven, yeah. How do you do to attract this audience here all the time? Sometimes it's by accident, <laughs> you know, I think, um, We've just tried to create different revenue streams, whether it's focusing on private events, you know, corporate events, private events, uh, baby showers, and um, that department we developed started about six years ago, and that has been huge for us okay. um, because people want to have that experience in this environment on the beach. So we've dedicated um, a private event uh, coordinator for those people, Great. and we grew that business exponentially, and that was like you know, huge um, for us. And then we used to do, um, uh, we started to develop different parties, whether it was a full moon party or uh, we've got Valentine's Day coming up. Halloween, I saw that. Oh, Halloween yeah, that is like our, a, a big thing for us. Uh, Valentine's Day, we uh, got approval to serve um, picnics on the beach. Everybody's looking for a new and unique uh, dinner opportunity for Valentine's Day rather than you're boring like let's go to a restaurant and stare at each other because we're supposed to because it's right. February 14th and now you can go on the beach we put put a picnic out for you we Ooh, serve you down there and it's just something new and, and different and unique yeah so we, we look for those different opportunities and then I think community involvement has been pivotal for us as well um, that was um, getting engaged with our community connecting with our customer because everyone is potentially a customer for me everybody I come into whether you're you know 15 year old 15 years old coming with your parents your 80s year old you're here for a, a date with your husband or wife um, everybody's my customer so when we get engaged with the community and they see good work that we do and we want to get involved they want to reciprocate they want to come here they get to know about us and that has also been a, a huge, huge um, uh, growth factor for us as well. I really like how you um, actually look into the different revenue streams, yeah. right? It's almost like if you are, um, in this case, you're a restaurant, but if you are a company that have product lines, you're looking for different solutions, yeah. right? So you're looking for having the different uh, bundles, if you will. Yep. So for all the entrepreneurs out there, you know, when you're looking at what you're selling, you know, what are the different ways that you can sell your product? Yep. How can you expand? How can you um, capitalize on what you already have and be creative? So in your case, you know, yeah. looking at the party part. Yeah. You know, we actually just um, are too. launching next week. Um, we have our apparel line, but we're expanding on that. And then we came up with like a salt scrub and, yes. you know, an ocean smelling candle and right. things that we have a captive audience in the store already so if right. we can you know have a retail line as well beautiful it, you yeah. know goes hand in hand with it yeah so always keep thinking about all the different revenue streams don't, don't just stay within one right. i mean obviously start with one right and make sure that you're successful yeah, with successful that one there, don't, don't yeah. try to sure. cover too much don't try to buy too much or right. too big uh, but once that one is successful then keep expanding keep looking keep be, keep being creative sure so any lessons learned? <laughs> I mean, I'm sure that there is a lot. The biggest thing that I've learned is to not take things personally. Ooh, so that's a good one. And to have a thick skin, right? You uh, know, sometimes I'll be scared to make a decision or scared to move forward on something, or um, I'll get, a, you know, you get offended because somebody doesn't doesn't like something you did or said. And you can't listen to that. Usually, the naysayers, the people who are being pessimistic or coming down on you 
um, are the ones who scream the loudest, but it's not necessarily the majority. Very good. Any other ones? Connecting with people. Okay. So like I said, I was so focused on like what I had to do and like my to-do list. Yeah. Um, I'm very task-driven. That's just my personality, that my type A, so to speak, that we talked about. I told about. you, you're so organized. Yeah. <laughs> but um, when I, uh, they, they used to say, you know, I'd come into the restaurant and I'd never say hello to anybody. Like I would just walk straight through because I'm like, I've got to go do this task, whatever it is I'm working on. Right. And one day I, I, like it was a joke. And then I realized, like, that's not so funny, right? Right. And you just stop just saying hello to people every day. That connection means so much. So I really, um, and, and every, I got this persona that I was, like, insensitive or the bitch or, you know, I'm not nice. And, um, and that wasn't the case, and I didn't want to be perceived that way. And then when people realize you do really care about them and you have that connection, um, that was kind of my my uh, the, another connector for me. I want to hear a little bit more about you as the person. <laughs> it's like, what are the things that you do to keep yourself centered, to right. keep that human side of you um, alive? I think structure is the, the, the one thing that I need to keep in my life in order to um, not just manage it all, but also um, kind of stay connected when I when I lose track of my structure or my like my schedule. I'm going in all different directions, and then I allow the noise to get in. That you know I talked about. You know yeah, yeah, yeah. you start to hear hear that noise that um, sometimes we think we allow to think it defines us, and that's not who we are, right? Mm -hmm. um, so for me, it, it's structure, and that comes in the form of a schedule. Like I, you know, I I love getting up at 5 a.m. I yeah, that's when I work out and then, you know, take, take my kids to school and come to work. And, um, but, you know, if, I, if you don't schedule things, you're not going to get them done, right? You, yeah. So if, um, to achieve the things that I want to go do, I, I, I try to make sure to put them in some sort of structure. And that's even relaxing time or reading a book. I, lo I, I don't have the time to read so much, but I like to listen to books on audio and podcasts and stuff. Um, any, like, I call net time, you know, driving in the car, working out, when I'm doing my hair in the morning. How do you call it? Huh? How do you call it? Net, net time. Net time. I call it me time. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I have that moment. Like, I don't want to hear anything. Yeah. Like, I don't want any noise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then I also see those times as opportunities yeah. to get those things in that yeah. I, I wish I could. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so it's, it's so necessary yes. to actually <laughs> just to connect with yourself yeah. because we're always kind yeah. of doing, giving, yeah. And I do that, I, I really enjoy working out and being active, so that's kind of my me time. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, that's just an everyday kind of kind of thing. Yeah. And what was that push-up challenge? Oh, um, actually one of my servers nominated me for the push-up challenge. They were supporting, I think, um, uh, suicide and... Um, yeah. From the military? Uh, yeah, for the military. So, yeah, we did that last year. So it yeah. was very cool. Yeah. Plus, yeah. I wanted to show them I could do that many push-ups, so. <laughs> <laughs> and you did it. Yeah, right? <laughs> so you exercise, you stay active, yes. and all those things. Mm -hmm. um, so I actually want to take advantage of that question to actually look up and see, because I posted on Instagram, on my Instagram, to see if somebody would ask a question. <laughs> nice. Let's see what we got. Okay, what are the top three characteristics of yours that have made the biggest impact on your end? My uh, biggest characteristics? That one came, sorry, from the Boca Downtowner. Oh, nice, nice. I don't take no for an answer. Okay. Right? So um, if I'm trying to accomplish something and somebody says, like, oh, I don't know how you can do that, or, you know, there's this challenge or that challenge, I'm like, okay. Like, well, we'll just figure it out. We'll keep just get going. through it. I just always keep going. So whether you want to call that tenacity or bullishness. <laughs> never take you know, no for an never answer. Never take no for an answer. So I know you're a mom. Yes. Yes. <laughs> As a female entrepreneur, mm -hmm. how have you been able to handle being a mother, working monster hours, mm -hmm. because this is a restaurant, just yes. like being in retail, being a doctor, in yeah. the, actually those are the most demanding Big jobs, jobs yes. right? I'm not saying that other jobs are not demanding, but let's be realistic. Well, it's like I said, it's um, almost, we're just about 24 hours, we're seven days a week, we're 365 days a year. How do you do it? Um, you just do it, you just, you just do, you know? Um, <laughs> 
and uh, I would say at times if you were to ask, I have a nine-year-old right now who's, who requires a lot of my time, and if you were to ask her, she'd say, you know, mommy's on her phone a lot, and when she says that, I go, well, I'm able to be with you because I have a phone now. You know, I'd say 15 years ago, and we didn't have some of the technology items, I had to really be in the store. Um, so that's really allowed me to kind of get out of the store. Um, but when I hit six or seven o'clock and I'm home, I try to put my phone down until I put her to bed, right? So it, maybe it's not a quant quantity of time, but I try to work, focus on the quality of time. I don't always do that well. I probably do it not, <laughs> I probably do it worse than better most times, but um, you know, I try to fo focus on that, right? Um, but it is a, it's challenging and it's, it's a hard balance. And sometimes I question, you know, is this right? You know, should should I back off a little bit? Should I take a back seat? Should should that be a priority? But um, right. you know, so so there is no. You just try to find that balance where um, you know, when she was a baby, she came, she was in the restaurant all the time. Right. Yeah, like she was she was in the bassinet, you know, sitting on the bar, you yeah. know, with us. And um, you know, now that she's a little older, it gets a little easier when they go to school and stuff. But right. it, it is it's constantly a challenge, and there's no one way answer for that. If I could tell you that you have in front of you a full audience of entrepreneurs, okay. what would you tell them? What would be that piece of advice that you would say to them? This is your chance to communicate to the world and say something very inspiring and motivating. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> the, the biggest thing is if you know you're coming from a good place, if you know you're you're trying your hardest, you're, you're doing your due diligence and, and putting in the work and the effort to achieve something, don't block out the noise, you know, just go, go for the goal that you're trying to achieve. Um, you know, the, the fears are going to hold you back and are going to make you stumble. Um, you know, your doubts are, are not, they're not doing anything for you. So if you're going to go for it, screw it, you know, just do it, go straight ahead and let those things go. I mean, you you have to block out the noise. That is um, just, to me, is just just everything, you know? Um, but you also have to put in the work. You know, you can't get home at six o'clock at night, sit down and turn on the TV and watch, you know, right. Netflix for the rest of the night and be like, I can't figure out why I'm not getting ahead, right. you know? I mean, I go home, we'll do dinner, I put her to bed and I pull my laptop out and you know, what do we have, what do I have for the week ahead or what do I need to do for the next project I'm working on? Um, you've got, you got to put in the work, but it's not work if you enjoy it. So I, I really, I enjoy what I do. I enjoy being busy. I enjoy having my mind occupied and trying to solve problems. Um, so it's not work to me. And I think that's the difference between, you know, a, a true, true entrepreneurs. I mean, they love what they do. And so it's not work for them. You know, you so. find your passion. Yes, you find your find your passion. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Well, thank you very thank much you for, for having us. Me. It was a real pleasure. My pleasure. So, can you let everybody know where we can find this yes. amazing place? <laughs> uh, so, Oceans Two Thirty Four in Deerfield Beach, north of Hillsborough Boulevard, <laughs> directly on the ocean. Uh, you can't find any anywhere else with a better view, but we also have amazing food and elevated service, and uh, so much to offer. Please stop by. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks. Now we would love to hear from you. Tell us on the comments below. Was this advice helpful to you today? And how can you put some of what you learn into practice right away to start to see a difference in your entrepreneurial journey? Also, don't forget, if you found this podcast helpful, make sure to subscribe, share with your friends, and hit the like button so we know to make more podcasts like this one. 